guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. If you are not new here, you already know <laughs> that your girl is Shein obsessed. So last time that I placed my big order for Shein, I also ordered a bunch of like random knick-knacky type things. I say knick-knacks, but it's more like just the stuff, they're like, you know there's like an items column that you always kind of are like, should I order stuff from there? Or is that weird? Will it come out different than what I want it to be? There's like a lot of stuff on there to do like home improvement and stuff and that just weirds me out to be honest. I just don't know if that would turn out the way that I would want it to in person. So I ordered like a couple of different things from there and I figured I might as well show it to you guys since I got it and I don't know, I, I think some of you might be more like apprehensive like I was to order from there so I figure I might as well try it we'll see we'll see what how this stuff is so let's just jump on in I've already used some of the things because I didn't get around to like actually filming this early enough to where I needed some of the stuff but a lot of the stuff is still unopened but then there's some stuff like this cover thing to wear when you're cutting someone's hair so if you are new here you don't know but if you have been around through the pandemic you probably do understand why I needed this <laughs> so I bought this because I've been doing Dominic's or cutting Dominic's hair since the pandemic started and it's been going well for us but I thought it would be fun to just have like one of these and I think it was like a dollar or something I've already used it because I cut his hair a couple of weeks ago with it so that is like honestly super nice it's just like a, your basic type of like thing to put over someone but it's nice to have so that we don't get hair everywhere obviously when I cut his hair and then I also bought this little like squirt bottle which when I ordered these bottles it it showed three bottles on the picture so I'll like show you guys in the corner here and obviously it came with one <laughs> so I mean I think if I had really done my research it probably said somewhere in there this is a one piece item type of thing but I thought I was gonna get three little squirt bottles for the price I think I only paid $2.99 or something so it was still really cheap and it works it it gets the job done I use it to like wet the top of his hair and like you know cut the top with it a little bit wet which is really nice but yeah just know just know that you're gonna get one if you order those okay so next up I ordered this concealer so it says 12 hours full coverage concealer I have never used concealer before I don't think I have used like I think I've used foundation and I feel like they're like the same thing probably but also I don't know because like I said I know nothing about makeup so I feel like I don't know actually have I used concealer I have like a little bottle it's like a triangle bottle with a blue top and I think it could be concealer because it feels like it's like the same liquidy material but at the same time I feel I might have ordered a too dark color in this this looks pretty dark for my liking and also it seems like it's just for your blemishes maybe I don't know if you guys know anything about makeup comment down below and let me know but I feel like I would just apply this to like a zip possibly but it's nice and like it feels nice let's see I'm actually gonna touch it to my skin really quick to see okay yeah it actually feels like a really nice concealer this is called Co or coconut flakes I think is what the shade is yeah coconut flakes so hopefully I don't know if that'll focus you guys I'm not even gonna sit here and act like I'm some sort of beauty vlogger because I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to this but it actually matches my skin tone and eh, it doesn't really it kind of matches my skin tone Let's see if I just rub it in. Oh, it actually 100% matches my skin tone. It's very nice. Okay, I'm here for it. I actually really like this. I might really be using this on like different zits and stuff. Although growing up, I never wore makeup very much because I always felt like my friends who did wear makeup had bad skin. Like I felt like them wearing them. I felt like the makeup made their skin really bad. And then also like picking at zits and stuff like I was just was never the type of person that liked to pick at my zits because I felt like that always made my zits like scar and like it made my skin look really bad so I don't know I'm going to try this but I just am still like I still have that feeling about about makeup because I just I feel like when I wear makeup a lot too I notice my skin having a lot more issues which makes sense and if you don't properly clean your face obviously it's going to have issues but 
I don't know. That's just my theory on it. And that's why I don't really know very much about makeup because I never really tried to. But it's no different than like coffee. <laughs> so when I was younger, I was really against like drinking coffee because I didn't want to have like bad breath. And then I started drinking coffee and now I'm obsessed with coffee and my breath is probably like eternally bad. <laughs> But I just love it so much. It's so delicious. So I get why people wear makeup because once you start wearing it, you get used to your face with makeup. That's the other thing too. You get used to your face with makeup. It's kind of like, um, like photoshopping yourself. Like when I was younger, not even when I was younger, probably like a year or two ago now, a year even actually, before I started my YouTube channel into like the first couple of months of me having my YouTube channel, I used to heavy duty face to my, my photos. Like I would just make myself look so different that I didn't even know who the person was in the pictures. And I didn't even know not even that I made myself look different, but I made my body look so different that I couldn't tell you how thin I ever was. Do you know what I'm saying? So like I would look at pictures and I would think, oh my gosh, I'm not that thin. I've gained so much weight when really I face tuned myself. So I didn't really know what I look like in the moments. Nowadays, literally I have not face tuned anything since I think last October was like the time that I like realized I had stopped face tuning because it just like, it doesn't make you feel good about yourself. <laughs> it doesn't make you feel like like your body is worthy when you're going in there and like changing it all the time and you're constantly comparing yourself to a body that isn't yours but looks like yours because your face is on it. <laughs> so you think it is your body but really you you made your body look how you wanted it to through face too. So anyway, that's besides the point. I just feel that way about makeup as well. When I wear makeup all the time, I start to dislike what my face looks like without makeup. So I try not to wear it that much. But I did order a couple of things, obviously. So moving right along, I also ordered this like bathtub thing because I know that a lot of you probably can relate to this, but as a plus size woman, like it is not fun taking a bath because the second that you get your body covered, the water starts draining almost immediately because it's too high for the bathtub. But really, you're fine. Like, the water's not going to go out of the bathtub. The bathtub just is assuming that it is. <laughs> so, I decided to order this, which is just like a, a thing that you can put around your bathtub and put the water in. And then also, I feel like it's probably a lot cleaner than like actually bathing in your tub where your feet are all the time. That kind of grosses me out too. So, we're going to try this. Definitely stay tuned because I'm definitely going to be trying this and keep you guys posted on how I like it. It's a disposable travel disposable bathtub cover. I'll probably use it in my home because I feel like that I want it for different reasons than what a normal person would want it for probably. <laughs> now moving on to another really weird thing. Should I keep doing these weird things? Yeah I guess I'm going to. <laughs> another weird thing I ordered it's like a screen to hook to your window so that so we have like screens already on our window obviously and we just sometimes there's sometimes there's like holes in them and bugs get through and I'm not about that so like I'm always afraid to open my windows ever because I'm worried about bugs getting through even though we have screens so I ordered this like extra screen thing that apparently you can velcro onto your window okay so it came with like this velcro strip that I'm assuming you take like stick to your window which I don't know why I didn't imagine it being like this because once I stick this to my window that's it that's the window it has to go on so I thought it was gonna be like something that I could remove and like change to different windows if I decided oh I want to open the window in the bedroom today I want to open the window in my office but you're gonna be pretty much stuck with sticking it to one very specific window which isn't bad and this is like actually a really big screen so I think I paid like a dollar for this I'm not mad about it I'll probably use it honestly I feel like it's gonna make it look weird <laughs> it'll make the window look pretty weird but Maybe I could put it on the outside of the window though and then it wouldn't be that bad. The only thing is is that it has these holes and I feel like the holes are bigger than the actual holes of the screen to where like little bugs could get through still probably. But 
I don't know, for the price, I feel like it was probably worth it. And then you just like kind of hook it on your window so the bugs don't get through. Obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory. But I'm going to try it. We'll see. If you guys are new to this channel, definitely hit that subscribe button because I also do vlogs. So the vlog, the vlog family kind of knows when this time kind of stuff gets used because I keep you guys updated. <laughs> so if you're new here and you want to see how these how any of this stuff works, definitely hit that subscribe button. So let's see. Next up, we've got a this is all really random, you guys. So the next thing is a waffle fry maker <laughs> type of thing. So it's basically just like this metal thing that you press down onto your whatever they're called potatoes to make your own waffle fries so I thought that might be really fun to use I mean I obviously haven't used it yet so we don't know how it is but like I said stay tuned and I'll probably use it in a video at some point I don't know it's cool I, I figured we'll make waffle fries with it it might be fun moving right along something that I it was a splurge you guys <laughs> And when I say it was a splurge, I think they were still only like $2 each, probably maybe 3 But I decided to splurge on these coasters for my office because I just thought they were really pretty. And so I bought three of them. So I will show you guys. I'm going to open it up now because I've been honestly wanting to open these. But I didn't need them for anything really. I, so I was like, I'll wait till I actually film the video. Let's see here. Okay. So they're plastic, obviously. They were only $3. You can't really expect much more, but they don't really look plastic on, like if I put these on the desk, I feel like they would look high end. They're very nice, actually. So that's that one. And then I bought a blue one as well. So I bought just a bunch of colors and then I'm just gonna like, obviously layer them on my desk. Okay, so it's kind of like the same design on all of them. I definitely thought it was gonna be more like I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I thought it would just be brighter, but they're still really pretty, especially for the price of $3 or whatever. You really can't beat that. And they look they look nice from like afar. From afar they look they don't look plasticky. Okay, moving right along to a makeup item. So this is a glitter liquid eyeshadow that I ordered. And so that's what it looks like in person. Wait, maybe I'll open this up so that maybe I can show you guys what, like, some swatches look like. I really like liquid eyeshadow. Is that one? That's what it is, right? Yeah, liquid eyeshadow. Um, I really like it because I feel like it stays on my eyes so much better than, like, the powdered eyeshadow. I feel like the powdered eyeshadow, not only is it, like, it, it leaves faster, but it also leaves, like, a residue on the side of my eye. I feel like I'm always seeing this, like... I don't, I don't know if it's an indent or if it's from my eyeshadow, from like buildup of, of like me like wiping my eyes or whatever, you know? So I always like the liquid kind, but I haven't used it since I was probably in high school, honestly. Okay, so this is what they look like outside of the package. Let's just move that, move our light so that you guys can get a real feel for it. That's what they look like. They're pretty shimmery, actually. These are really, really pretty, you guys. Let's see. I'm trying to do like little swatches so that I can show you guys the different colors. So they're definitely shiny and definitely sparkly, but I don't mind that. I think it's really pretty. It, they look like nail polish almost, but I know that obviously they're meant to go on your eyes. Oh, cool. So this last one is literally just sparkle. Okay, so that is what they look like. Hopefully it's translating well for you guys. Okay, so next up, keeping with the makeup, I ordered these four sponges, and I already used one, as you guys can tell, and I think it works pretty well. I don't know much about sponges, because I literally, before I had these sponges, I had never used sponges to apply my makeup before. I'm just not, like, I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to makeup, <laughs> so I'm not going to be a great judge of that, but I will say it came in, like, this really nice case, and it was the cheapest I could find four sponges and I've used it to put my makeup on for the past like month now and I feel like it works pretty well it's not uh it's not anything like spectacular or anything but I feel like it's normal and the fact that it comes with the four different sponges and the case because I know I don't know very much about makeup so don't quote me on this but I know like a lot of people like to have their sponges in like a case so that I don't know why honestly why do people like that I feel like it's I don't know why maybe so they can dry maybe 
I don't know because I don't think I would dry it in here. But either way, it's very nice and it works well. It gets the job done for what I need it to be doing. <laughs> okay, moving on to another cooking thing that I ordered. This is for wontons, if I'm right. I think that it's for, like, I think they're called wontons, where you put the little thingy in there, and then you put the little meat in it, like a pierogi type of situation, and then you put it in oil, and it makes, like, a wonton, I believe. And I'm excited about this. Dominic and I had been talking about making wontons for a while before I placed this order, so I ha we haven't used it yet, but we're definitely going to, and I will definitely be vlogging that for you guys. Okay, next up we have these little thingies that I was so frustrated with. This was something that I was super bummed about because I had been waiting. My, this order took me forever to actually receive and I needed these so that I could give you guys my me measurements and like I had brands ask me what my measurements were and I didn't know what my measurements were. So I placed an order for these but then they took forever to get here so I had to get my own anyway. But online, I feel like, and I could be wrong, I'm going to put a picture and you guys will know if I'm wrong, but I feel like they looked thicker online. They looked like they were bigger, um, like, measuring tapes, and I liked that, obviously, more, so I was a little bit disappointed in how, like, skinny looking they were. I don't really know why, because it doesn't really matter. I just, I wanted them to be the bigger ones, <laughs> so that was kind of a bummer. It came with three. The other one is lying around my house somewhere, but... I kept it because obviously it's it was cheap. And then, let's see, this is our last one, you guys. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments. I will do more of these, and if you do like it and you aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, especially if you want to see any of this, any of these products in action. And also, next time I do this, I'm definitely going to be doing, like, first reaction. This is kind of annoying to me that I've seen most of these already because... I really did want to do first reaction for these. I feel like it's more fun for everyone. It's more fun for you guys to get my like initial reaction on everything. But what happened was my order, I'll like put a picture up if I still have one of what my box looked like when I got my order in. It was completely smashed in. So I had no way of not seeing the product because everything was falling out of it. It was it was actually insane and so frustrating. So next time I will definitely do it on first reaction look for you guys if you guys like this kind of video I know it's different than my usual stuff but last but not least this ties into my usual stuff so I you or I bought these socks to wear for my hauls because I was just tired of like having my feet just be there you know <laughs> and so I wanted the to like be able to wear little socks well I ordered these in white and you guys can tell this is not white these are 100% yellow <laughs> So I don't know what happened there. They don't even sell these in yellow. So they must have, they must think this could be white possibly, but definitely yellow. The sock itself might be like more of a like off white color, but they, maybe they, no, they wouldn't have washed them. These look like I washed them with like a bright yellow shirt. <laughs> so the ribbon, like there's no denying that that's yellow. So I probably won't be using those. They are pretty comfortable feeling though, but they're kind of tiny as well. But I feel like they have a good stretch to them. But anyway, you guys, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. It really means a lot, and it helps me know what you guys like, what you guys want to see from me. And if you want me to try out any other stores that have, like, these kind of, like, weird knick-knacky things, let me know. I honestly love doing them. But now I have, like, a bunch of, like, random stuff laying around my house. <laughs> but it's so cheap that it's, like, it's, it's fun. It's a good time. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. And I love you so much. I will see you in my next one. <laughs>